In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how you can use our image to prompt tool to help you create better images inside of Super Machine. So one thing that is common for a stable diffusion based image generator is you just paste in or you just write a prompt like this to try and create an image. So a large Buddha sitting on a hill you might choose a stable diffusion Excel model. Let's go with crystal clear Excel and you just hit generate and you hope that the image will come back exactly how you want it without any further uh, prompts at all and you'll get back something like this which is it's okay but it's probably not exactly what you're after so if you wanted to make this a bit more accurate we have a tool for you so let's go over to the top right hand corner and select tools we're going to upload an image of something we really like and want to try and recreate for ourselves so in this case we're going to choose this image of a statue of a buddha which i found online and we're going to click convert to prompt and you can see here we've got a much better description of the image that we want to try and create with a few parameters attached on the end which is going to make this more accurate so let's go ahead and copy this and go back to generate and we're going to paste this into the prompt we're going to have crystal clear excel selected again and we're going to create just click generate and we're going to be able to compare simply the change of prompt and see how this affects the image then we're going to go in again and tweak some advanced settings to make it even more accurate okay here we go this looks a bit more like the one we wanted to create um we've got some clouds we've got some mountains we've got the base let's say let's go in and tweak it even further so we wanted to actually make it uh, 16 by 9 so this is a long image click advanced settings we'll select this one um let's go and up the steps to make it a little bit more accurate we'll leave the creativity at seven and i'm going to change the sampler to something but we'll cover that in another video then we press generate and we're going to see how this affects it too and there we have it we have pretty close to what i think was the image we uploaded originally and if you want to go ahead and upscale it, you can to make it even more detailed. But yeah, that's how to use the image to prompt tool with inside of Super Machine to help you write better prompts and create better images. Look forward to seeing what you create and see you on the next one.